Good morning, everyone. I'm going to present for this morning the conservation behavior among students in university in a selected university in Metro Manila, the moderating role of attitudes on the impact of environmental uh, on the moderating role of attitudes on the impact of environmental knowledge on conservation behavior. So most of the time we have this um, notion that when we know something about a phenomenon or knowledge, for example, a while ago civi uh, about civic education or in, my, in our other paper, democracy, we expect people to behave accordingly uh, to their knowledge. So we explored if that, that, that is also true in conservation behavior in the environment. So we will present, I will present today our paper uh, together with Anker Simpao about this um, conservation behaviors of students in a university in Metro Manila. Okay. So professionals and practitioners in various disciplines assert the need to utilize natural resources as a determinant of development. However, research has shown that industrialization, urbani urbanization, and modernization have caused severe depletion of natural resources and degradation of the environment. So this reality is among many other forms of development, hence the need, hence the need for responsible, conservative, and sustainable actions, which are also the sustainable development goals. Goals aims. So globally, a lack of human interest and pro-environmental behaviors threaten ecosystem. Various efforts are made to change behaviors in reducing harmful impacts to the, to the environment. The Philippines, being part of the global south, is seen to be part of the most problematic countries in the world on having low scores on the Environmental Performance in the Index, indicating pro-environmental behavior, poor pro environmental behavior practices of Filipinos. So let's discuss um, pro-environmental behaviors. So this pro-environmental behaviors refer to, refers to the actions of individuals and communities that aim to benefit and is the harm to the natural environment. Understanding pro-environmental behaviors are vital in protecting and reducing harmful effects on the environment. PEB takes on several domains, such as environmental activism and conservation behavior. So water and energy conservation behavior and other pro-environmental behaviors include recycling, green conduct, eco-initiative, and green behavior. Specifically, when we talk about conservation behavior, it refers to the public's willingness to, rec to recycle or live a lifestyle that has a smaller environmental impact. CB also explores many domains and measures, but primarily focuses on three key issues, energy, water, and forest conservation. Along with the CB, domains and practices are practices that include soil conservation, sustainable energy consumption, agricultural conservation, and good irrigation practices in work, school, and home. So the question now is this one. So what leads to conservation behaviors? According to a commentary by Bloomstein 2015, Behaviors to, related to conservation lack explanation. Hence, there is a need to further look into conservation behavior at different levels, such as the group and community, and its effects in the environmental and social aspects. We argue that environmental knowledge can lead to conservation behaviors, and past research shows that action-related knowledge has a higher impact on conservation behavior. However, Knowledge alone is not sufficient to make people display conservation behaviors. Some studies show that environmental knowledge will, lead, will only lead to environmental behavior if there is environmental em emotional arousal. We propose that positive attitudes about conservation can further enhance 
the relationship between environmental knowledge and conservation behaviors. So this is in line with the theory of plant behavior wherein attitude is one important component that can predict the intention of doing something. So this is quite, ano, no, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, intuitively, common sense, we assume that pag maraming alam, gagawin, no? And this is also true in, uh, in our other research. The more we know about democracy, it will translate to behaviors. But, but this, this has been a problem of social psychologists, no? We, it's not, uh, it's not that um, simple, no? So there are other factors, for example, um, uh, well done. Social norms, adjunctive norms. So these are very important things also to check. But in this research, we just simply uh, focused on the attitudes. So hypothesis, we argue that environmental knowledge can lead to conservation behaviors. So for the first one, there is a direct, direct positive relationship between environmental knowledge and engagement in conservation behavior. We propose that positive attitudes about conservation behavior can further enhance the relationship between environmental knowledge and conservation behaviors. And then hypothesis two, positive attitude towards conservation moderates the relationship between environmental knowledge and environmental concern towards conservation behavior. So this research aims to describe conservation behaviors to understand the factors and the extent of engagement in conservation practices among university students. Specifically, it aims to dis describe the important roles of knowledge and attitude in understanding conservation behavior among students. So it's a cross-sectional descriptive correlational research design. Uh, it's the, 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 the participants are, came from a private university and uh, in, during the analysis, 303 uh, protocols were included. So we utilize a five-page online self-administered questionnaire. Okay, so, so here, these are the mean, level, mean scores and standard deviations. Um, I will show you the results in a while. So here are the background factors. No? For the descriptive results, so female university students reported to have higher environmental knowledge and attitudes con towards conservation behavior than male university students. In terms of age, older university students are more knowledgeable of environment-related matters. In terms of family income, um, university students with a family income of 20,000 and below uh, and 20,000 to 40,000 have higher levels of conservation behavior compared to those with a family income of 40,000 and above. No? So, baga lower SES, mas uh, higher levels of conservation. Short discussion about the descriptive results. Females um, are more inclined to engage in pro-environmental be behaviors. This may be due to a women's greater affinity and support in the environment as supported by previous studies. Most university students who are 27 years old and above provide support for their families and themselves, making them limit the use of basic necessities and other spendings. In terms of educational attainment, um, it, it was uh, found to be always a strong driver of environmental engagement. College students usually have positive attitudes towards the environment. In terms of the three main variables, uh, students have high levels of environmental knowledge, conservation behavior, and conservation attitude towards conservation behavior and conservation behavior. So as we as we can see in the correlations, um, environmental knowledge and conservation behavior had a weak positive correlation. So compared to environmental knowledge, mas matas yung attitude attitude towards conservation behavior and conservation were moderately positively correlated. So when we run the regression, there was a significant interaction between environmental knowledge and attitude 
in affecting conservation behaviors. So, so kahit marami kang alam, or even if you have the knowledge, that will only uh, predict conservation behavior kapag matas yung attitude. As you can see here, the moderating effect of attitude towards conservation behavior is only applicable when the level is at the average and high. So even if you have knowledge, pag mababa naman yung attitude mo, it will not translate to conservation behaviors. So I think that's a very important finding uh, from this simple study that we can share. No? And uh, we can also apply this uh, or at we can also study attitudes and other things, for example, subjective norms um, and other things with uh, uh, perceived behavioral control, in the theory of planned behavior in, in studying democracy and other important things in our society. Okay. So, so this study found that environmental knowledge has a significant effect on conservation behavior. So this, this result attests to the relative importance of environmental knowledge in their contributions to the environmental action, whether about conservation or other pro-environmental behaviors. So mahalaga pa rin yung knowledge, syempre. No? Environmental knowledge students learn in universities can also be used to promote sustainable consumption practices. We're not saying na hindi mahalaga. Mahalaga yung knowledge. No? It's really very important and therefore uh, to shape attitudes, or more importantly, values. Kasi malalim yung values, no? We start early. I remember when I was in grade school, marami na kaming campaigns, no? No lit no littering. We had activities na to really, ano, no? Uh, that are really environmentally friendly. Uh, another thing, uh, the results support the hypothesis that attitude con towards conservation behavior has a moderation effect. So environment, environmental knowledge alone is not sufficient for students to display CB. There should be a change in environmental attitude for them to display the CB. A change of attitudes among people is needed to address environmental issues and achieve sustainable development. So this is vital, no? Uh, so in a university setting, students are taught with environmental knowledge with the influence of their attitudes to environmental education influences pro-environmental pro behaviors. So um, we, overall, this study, on, this study on predictors and moderators of students' conservation behavior showed a significant relationship among the variables. And um, so a high level of environmental knowledge suggests a high engagement level in conservation behavior, but, but uh, an important factor is the attitude, the average and high levels of attitude towards and conservation behavior suggest a moderating effect on environmental knowledge and conservation behavior. So knowledge is a two-way street. Educational institutions should focus more on environmental topics which are action-oriented and promote sustainable practices. So it's not just the simple na transmissive na knowledge we transfer uh, there are there should also be other activities because attitudes are shaped all are by subjective norms or social norms no Kaya nga chicken and the egg eh. so it can be it can come from social norms injunctive norms and at the same time students must also make an effort to be knowledgeable of environmental matters both out inside and outside of their campus Universities need not only to teach about conservation behavior, but also perform practices no? and impose regulations that will help students have a positive look at conservation behavior. So, looking back, nung bata ako, mukhang effective nga, no? Yung, kasi, nung, hanggang ngayon, tumanda na, when I see people na nagkatapon sa daan, parang nainis ako, nagagalit. So, Parang galing yun nung bata ko, no? We had this, pag nagtapong ka, pe-penalize ka. So, it was not really, ano, no? So, yung attitude ko na form, uh, bata pa ako, no? So, it was not just simply a matter of yung diniscuss sa classroom. It's more on the 
societal level or, or school level, no? School level norms. Thank you for listening, no? I hope uh, I was able to, I mean, you were able to learn a few things about our research. Thank you very much.